Good morning. Happy Friday, everyone. I hope all of you had a terrific week. And on this video, I'm going to do something a little different. So I'm going to be talking about some of the news, baseball news of the American League and National League MVP winners, as well as the 2021 Land Grammy Awards. But first, I'm going to talk about the American League MVP. Angels two-way player Shohei Otani won the unanimous American League MVP award. Congratulations to Otani. If it were me, if I was a baseball writer and I had a vote, I would have vote for Vlad, Vlad Jr. Because look at the numbers. If you look at the numbers, his numbers were better than Shohei Otani. And I get that Otani, he was phenomenal, not just hitting, but pitching. But Vlad Jr. basically had a triple crown season. And not only that, but it was also his breakout season. And he proved to everyone that he's one of the best young talents in the game. But um, I'm not too surprised or disappointed. I get that it was a very interesting race for the MVP. Um, so Vlad Jr. finished second and Marcus Simeon finished third. Bryce Harper, man, what can I say about this guy? He captured his second National League MVP of his career, first with the Nationals in 2015 and now with the Phillies. It's amazing because Bryce Harper was struggling and you know that Philadelphia fans, just like New York fans, were not easy to satisfy. We're very harsh, we expect more. And in the second half of the season, Bryce Harper just absolutely put on a clinic. Not just him, but Juan Soto as well, um, who finished second in the NL MVP race. Fernando Tatis Jr., who at the beginning was the front runner to win the award, but the second half, Soto and Harper were just magnificent, but Bryce Harper took the home, took home the award, and it was very well deserved. So I just hope that Bryce Harper wins a championship with Philadelphia. I feel like that's the only thing that he's missing. He's got the ac the other accolades. He just needs to win a ring. Last night it was the Land Grammys, and it took place in Las Vegas which by the way, that was my last trip that I made and I went to celebrate my 30th birthday. But anyways, <laughs> back to the subject. I just wanna point out um, some of the things that grabbed my attention that I liked from the ceremony yesterday, as well as one area that I felt that could've been done more and I feel that I've said this before with the land billboards but you guys will get to hear what I had to say about that but first things first Christina Aguilera she returned to make music in Spanish and I believe this was the first time in 20 years that she returned to the event to land Grammys and I feel that's cool because I like seeing artists that could make music in both languages, English and Spanish. And Christina Aguilera, um, seeing her perform in Spanish yesterday, it caught me off guard, but I'm happy to see that. I'm glad that she decided to go back to that realm. So, way to go, Christina. Yes, and the next one, um, Osuna and Anthony Santo, two of my favorite artists, both from Dominican Republic, even though Osuna is both Dominican and Puerto Rican. But this was a collaboration that I didn't see it coming. And I'm very happy that they were able to make a song together. 
So they performed their new song called Señor Juez, meaning Sir Judge in English. And it was just such a thrill to see both of them on stage. I personally didn't think that they were going to perform in Land Grammys. And it was quite surprising to see Anthony Santos in the Land Grammys in Las Vegas. But man, I really enjoyed seeing both of them there. They both have, you have the old school with the new school there. Both of them are a tremendous artists. They have had an illustrious career. I'm just happy. I'm just happy that to see to see that. As a person of Dominican descent like myself, I'm very happy to see that. But it doesn't stop there. Sergio Vargas, the legendary merengue singer Sergio Vargas. His career spans for over 35 years. And Last night, he won his first Land Grammy for Best Merengue Slash Bachata Album. And it was so crazy because two days ago, I saw him getting interviewed about his career, about the possibility of winning a Land Grammy. And he said, if he doesn't win, it's still a victory. If he wins, then it will be even a bigger um, celebration, but it's a win-win situation regardless. And the fact that 24 hours later, he wins the Land Grammy, it was a uh, long overdue, and I'm very happy that he won the award. And I especially love his speech when he gave, um, when he shined a light on Haiti. If you guys know the situation of the history between the Dominican Republic and Haiti, then you would know. But I'm very happy that he used his moment, his platform to talk about Haiti and the situation that they're going through. So um, big ups to Sergio Vargas for that. And I'm very happy that he won a land Grammy. I said it was a, a very good night for Dominican artists at the land Grammys. And this next person that I'm about to talk about is Juan Luis Guerra. He has had an, uh, an incredible career for over 40 years, and he appeared in the Land Grammys to perform some of his classics, which had some people in the audience dancing, and that was very cool. And it was presented by Mili Casala, which is, to me, is the queen of merengue. And after that, after Juan Luis Guerra performed, she spoke a little bit about Johnny Ventura and the homage, um, the tribute that they did for him. And this is the part where I'm going to talk about what I feel like it could have been done more. Why? does it always have to take for someone to die in order for you give them the love and respect that they deserve? Why you couldn't give him a lifetime achievement award or something before he passed away? Like, I just, I just don't get it. And the tribute was short and it, it, like, it was so short that to me, it felt like it was just a throw in to put him there. It's Johnny Ventura we're talking about. The man has put out over a hundred records. His career spans five, six generations. I just do not understand why does it take for someone to pass away to give them their flowers. They're not gonna see it. They're not here with us. You give people their flowers while they're still here, not when they're not when they're not here. Like it's nice that they did that, but it's not. I just feel like, come on, come on. It, it makes me cringe when I see things like that, and it reminded me of. Damn, I can't believe I'm already forgetting his name. I can't believe I'm forgetting his name. Oh my God. De 
damn, I can't believe I'm forgetting his name. And the, and this particular someone, he tragically was killed in 2019. But damn, yo. Oh, I remember now, Nipsey Hussle. Oh my God, I can't believe it. I cannot believe I was forgetting his name. Nipsey Hussle. So yeah, it reminded me of Nipsey Hussle because BT Awards gave him his flowers after his untimely death in which Lauren, Lauren London and his family, like his parents, um, were there to receive the honor. But it was just ridiculous how they decided to do that after he passed away. And a lot of us, we have that bad habit to do with people, but me personally, I try to do everything I can to give people their flowers while they're still here. And last but not least, I wanna talk about the Panamanian singer, Ruben Blades. I feel that he was probably the most, no, 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 I feel that last night, he was the one that was the central focal point of the award ceremony. Ruben Blades, he performed um, some of his songs at the ceremony and he took home two awards. One of them, he received the Land Recording Academy's Person of the Year Award and the second one for Album of the Year which is called Sal Swing. So Blades, he's had a tremendous career, very well deserving of the accolades. And I'm just very happy for everything that he's accomplished. You see, that's the way you need to do it. You gotta give people their flowers while they're still here. And I'm glad he did it with Ruben Blades. I wish that could have happened with Johnny Ventura, but no problem because the Dominican Republic has always given him his love and respect. For a lot of people, it felt like they lost their father, but to me, it felt like I lost my grandfather. Even though both of my grandparents have died a, long, a while back now, but Johnny Ventura, like, he gives you that feeling that you feel like when you listen to him, you feel like that's your father talking to you, your grandfather talking to you. But God rest his soul. He's done everything that he set out to accomplish. And that's enough for me.